Hello, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will learn about subroutine in CL program. So here I have created one program. Let's see that. So I'm opening this program in edit mode. So here on line number 11, I'm calling one subroutine. So before we discuss these two lines, I will t explain you something about the subroutine. So subroutine is, you can consider it as a block of code where we write few lines of, uh, we, we, we line few lines of code. And whenever we want to reuse those lines of code in, in, a, in a program, then you can easily call that block. And that block is mainly uh, known as subroutine. So you can also relate it with functions in modern language like we have functions. So same thing we can do with subroutine also. Okay. So here on line number 11, I'm directly calling that routine, which I have already declared in my program. So before we discuss on this line, I will tell you how to declare the subroutine in CL program. So to declare the subroutine, this is the portion where I have declared my subroutine and my subroutine name is print text and this is the starting of my routine and this is the ending of my routine. So let's discuss about this. So first of all, you have to simply write sub r. Sub r means subroutine and then you have to take f4. So once you take f4, you will be reach out to this screen where you have three fields that you can input like first one is label second is subroutine and third is comment so label is for just for the labeling purpose if you want to label some text to your line then you can write it here and then second field is subroutine so here we have to give the name the name which we want to assign to this subroutine so whenever we inside a program we want to call this routine we will directly call it by this name so here i'm assigning my routine name as print text Okay, so whenever uh, in wherever in project uh, program I will call this print text, it will uh, process the routine that I have declared here, or the lines of code I have written here. Then we have comment field, which is optional field. If you want to put some comment here, then you can write it. Otherwise, you can leave leave it as blank. So first two field, uh, first and the third field is uh, optional field, and this is the mandatory field. So we have assigned. Uh, the name to subroutine and also we have started the routine so here from here the subroutine declaration is started then whatever the lines of code you want to reuse you can write it here for demo purpose I'm just writing one line where I'm just printing the message that is texture with so for that I'm using sndpgm msg command so you can simply write it as sndpgm msg then take f4 and here you will see that uh, we are just uh, printing one text which is texture myth okay this is just for the demo purpose but if you want to execute few more lines here then you can write it as many as you can then once your lines are done like you are done with all the lines then you can simply uh, write the end subbar end subbar uh, end subbar is mainly for ending the subroutine so for that you have to just simply write end subbar and that is enough so now this is the block that is known as subroutine and whenever you want to print this line or whatever the lines we have written here you want to reuse that you can simply call this with this name call the subroutine with this name okay now we will back to the main line so this is the main program and first line will be executed by this so where what we are doing we are calling the subroutine so to call that subroutine that we have already declared you have to simply write call subr which is subr so then take f4 and after f4 you can either you if you want to put label you can put it here otherwise you can simply pass the subroutine name which you want to call so in our case we are we want to call print text so i have specified that and then this is the cl uh, variable for return value that this thing we will discuss in upcoming session like how to return the value from routine and some other commands also but for now we are just simply uh, learning a, a process through which we can call the subroutine or declare the subroutine okay and then we have comment field this is also an option so i'm just hitting enter so what it will do it will call this routine whenever the this line executed so this is our first line so it will execute this so once a uh, cursor reaches to here it will directly go to this subroutine part and then whatever the lines written in in between the sub r or end sub r it will execute it will be executed so in our case we are just printing one text which is texture myth so the first output 
on the screen will be that text which is texture myth and post that we are using again SNDPG message command just to print one message so I'm taking F4 to show you that most that message so here we are just printing text printed after subroutine processing so just it is just for the demo purpose like first line will be printed inside the routine and then this message will be printed like text printed after subroutine processing so once this subroutine is ended after printing this text it will again came back to this line number 11 because from here it calls and then again came back to this line and after that whatever the lines are written here it will be executed so we can directly um, execute these lines of code okay so we got the concept now we will see the output so for output I'm compiling it so it is compiled successfully now I'm calling this so here you can see that it prints the first text which is texture myth and this text uh, is printed inside the routine because inside the subroutine we are using the SND PGM MSG command and here you can observe that there is one plus icon so I can do page down here and this is the second text which came uh, which is printed after the processing of subroutine so once the call subroutine command is completed it prints whatever the things are there inside the routine then the next line it will process which is the main line of our code and this text came from that po portion okay so this is how we can use the subroutine and it is very useful thing because when uh, it uh, help us to reuse the uh, lines of code again and again suppose there are uh, there are some calculation we are doing inside the subroutine and we want to uh, reuse those calculation in program multiple places then you can simply call uh, that routine with this subroutine name so i hope that is clear to all of you and in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching detection with